Welcome back everybody, my name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Today we're gonna to do a review of a 2021 Lance Camper and the floor plan is 2285. Let's go take a look. All right, these Lance campers are very well-built campers. We're gonna start at the front here and kind of work our way around. You got a really nice power tongue jack right there. Both of your propane bottles are covered by a really nice fiberglass cover. And you do have a window double-paned uh, that does open up in the front there. You have power stabilizing jacks. Actually, this right here is for the front and rear stabilizer jacks on this side. It does have a solar hookup right there. One of your batteries is here on a slide out tray, makes it easy to get at. You got a full pass through storage compartment right here and they do have magnets that hold that door up into place, but this has a nice slide out tray. So you just slide this across, pull it out, get to pretty much anything on there. That's for your jacks. If they manually need to be brought in, you can certainly do that. Got a light in there, table right there. Really nice. Remote propane hookup right there. You have two entry doors. One goes into the bathroom and bedroom, and this is a rear kitchen model, so the other door is gonna go into that. You got a couple speakers outside for entertainment, really nice power awning with LED light. You can hang your inside TV right here, and you can hook it to that outlet right there. And you got your USB charging ports and a 12 volt charging port right there. Over here you have a vent, and right next to that is your potable water fill. And then you have your rear entry. This is a Four Seasons coach. Very nice, and it does have keyless entry right there. Frameless windows, dual axle with alloy wheels. Coming around to the back, nice bumper that you can store your sewer tube. You have stabilizer jacks in the rear as well. Your propane furnace is right here. Access to the refrigerator right there and right there. This does have a nice gutter system. Comes with a backup camera and a monitor, a vent for your microwave, really nice ladder to be able to get up on the roof. Let's take a peek at that because I believe this guy does have solar already on it. Yep, got solar panels on that and a single AC unit. Over here is your water heater and a kitchen window right there. Get another kitchen window right there. There's the gutter in action. Over here is your shore power cord hookup. This is a 30 amp service. You got your park cable hookup right there. Outside shower with hot and cold water. And then your uh, fresh water hookup right there. Sewer dumps right there. Single slide out in this guy. Pretty good size with a slide topper. And then over here you do have a little storage compartment. Pretty good size actually. That's under the dinette in the kitchen area. And that has a magnet as well. That's gonna hold that door open. Got a nice dinette window right there. Coming over here, you have your uh, sewer tank flush and another dump. So that one up in the front was for your galley. This is for your bathroom. Nice bedroom window. There's a storage compartment right there, it's locked. The rest of your full pass-through storage here. Actually, it stops. The, the tray doesn't go all the way through. Your battery disconnect, your lug wrench, your shore power cord stored in there. And then you have your stabilizer jacks for the driver's side and your other battery on a slide-out tray. All right, that's the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside of this gorgeous little trailer. All right, so I'm gonna go through the rear entry. You do have the front entry up there. This one does have the keyless entry. Really nice aluminum steps. So you're gonna walk right into the rear kitchen area. And this has a really nice rear kitchen with a refrigerator there, a microwave, 
really nice hood with a fan and a light, a three burner cooktop and an oven. That's a very big oven too. There's your sink. Really nice single basin sink with a trash can right back there. Get a light up there and two windows. A little bit of cabinetry there. There's your slide room switch and your solar. And then over here is a bunch of other, your awning and your lighting with a little key hook. Really nice laminate flooring, looks like wood. You got a sofa on this side with a nice window behind that and some storage compartment above that. A little skylight right there. Now this is a jackknife sofa, but it also has recliners. Very nice. And that just goes down like a futon. Over on this side, huge U-shaped dinette. And that does go to a sleeper as well. And you have these really nice drawers underneath there. And then the back is where that outside storage was. You got the TV over here with your radio and that does play outside as well. That's the monitor for the backup camera. And you do have a power port underneath of there and some charging ports over there. A little bit of pantry space right there, pretty good size. Then you have a door that separates off the living space from the bathroom and bedroom. Nice porcelain pedal flush toilet right there. And my favorite, it's got the bowed shower rod with the vinyl curtain. A little shower, but you're gonna have plenty of room up top to wash your hair. And you got some storage over here on this side. A little bit of storage here. It's a very well-built little trailer. And a fan there and a little bit more storage over here with a towel holder and a toilet paper holder. Then on this side, you have a really nice cabinet, hanging wardrobe. And then the vanity is outside of the bathroom with your medicine cabinet and sink and a little extendable countertop and some storage below. That's your front entrance. And you do have plenty of windows in here. One here with a magazine rack, tons of charging ports and outlets. So I'm telling you, your solar. Then you have that really nice window that has a built-in screen and a shade and it does open up. Nice vent right there to be able to pull some air in through any of these windows here. More charging ports and everything right there. And that does have a nice little compartments on either side. That's an LEDC TV, so that works off a 12 volt. And you do have an inverter over here too. Let's see what we got under the bed. And you even had some under bed storage right there too. Very nice little camper guys. 2021 Lance Camper 2285 with the front bedroom and rear kitchen floor plan. This thing is really small. It'll fit any place. Ultra light. You can tow it with practically any SUV or pickup truck. And this one is still available. So if you would like to know more, if you have any questions, you can text, call, or email me information is right there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe.